Could you soon be able to legally throw a few dollars down on your favorite sports team? A state lawmaker just filed a new bill. And here to break it down for us is KOCO's Abigail Ogle in studio. So Abby, what is holding sports betting back at this point? And also, what would it look like if it is approved this year? Well, guys, we looked at neighboring states that have legalized it. So far, 36 have. Take a look here at this number. $1.4 billion. That is the amount of tax money states across our country made on sports betting last year alone. Oklahoma, of course, not one of those states, but that soon could change. Williams going to run it himself back to the right. Makes a move. He's got the first down. Betting on the Sooners, the Cowboys, the Thunder. Right back to Shane. Currently not legal in Oklahoma, which we know is a sports loving state. But House Bill 1027 hopes to change that. Last year we had a bill. It didn't move. Uh, will this one move? I don't know. The bill would allow you to place a bet at one of Oklahoma's tribal owned casinos or on an app, something states like Arkansas are already doing. As betting has increased, tax revenue has increased. So that's just one more benefit to us here in the state. And even without sports betting, Oklahoma tribes generated $3 billion in revenue from class three gaming. But other states say there's even more money to be made and Oklahomans are already spending it, just not here. We are seeing some people from Oklahoma come across the border, uh, spend the weekend or maybe just place their bets and, and drive on back. And once you cross the border into the state, those apps are active. In 2021, the Arkansas government collected $1.2 million from their share of sports betting. In 2022, that number doubled. And keep this in mind, Arkansas only has three operating casinos in the state. In 2022, Oklahoma had 133. And experts say just because it's not legal to bet on sports in Oklahoma, that doesn't mean it's not happening. There's a lot of illegal sports betting that goes on, including in this state. And those those are dollars that the tribes are not seeing, the state is not seeing, and nobody's regulating those games. So what's holding it up? Well, changing Oklahoma's laws would require legislation and an agreement between lawmakers, the tribes, and the governor, a relationship that has become more complicated over the last few years. It requires everybody to go around the table and have a conversation and meet in the middle somewhere where it's a win-win for everyone. Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt says he would support sports betting as long as it's fair and and allows the state to maximize revenue potential. Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. also told KOCO5 as long as tribal sovereignty and the gaming laws of Oklahoma are respected, he's open to discuss. But I think tribes stand ready to, to be a good partner and, and have a conversation if the state feels like, uh, you know, they do want to make an offer. But Oklahoma Senate pro temp Greg Treat says he doesn't see sports betting as a top priority this year. And in the past, he has stopped bills like this one from moving forward. The governor putting his weight behind it will make a difference probably, but I want to make sure that anything we do is comprehensive. So I'm not one that just says, let's go past sports betting and be done with it unless we have a comprehensive discussion. And this bill also has its opponents. A number of groups are against more ways to gamble in Oklahoma. Oklahoma doesn't need it. If you're rich enough to gamble on sports, go to Las Vegas, but don't make it where it's easy for the guy down the road to lose his grocery money gambling on the Super Bowl. I just think it's sad when the state of Oklahoma looks to a regressive tax on the poor for income for the state. A lot of opinions there. Uh, Abby, I'll tell you what, though, you really mentioned it there when you mentioned what the governor said, yeah. what the tribe said. We heard from Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. Those are the basically the same exact quotes that we've heard on other casino and gambling related issues. But now we're talking sports betting. And so are we just going to continue to do this for a while? I don't know. We shall see. I think diving into how much other states have already made and the money that Oklahomans are already spending outside of state lines, it was certainly it was certainly really eye opening on what the state is is potentially missing out on when it comes to the economic impact. But like you just heard, not everyone is even on board with this mm -hmm. morally. So what happens to happen next? Oklahoma lawmakers have to pass the bill. Governor Kevin Stitt would have to sign it into law individual tribes would then decide whether they accept the offer and guys if they do the compact would then be sent to the department of the interior in washington dc who would also have to sign off on it today the first day of the legislative session something we will be following very closely